Yeah, yeah, man. It's the homie Hood Legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in Battle Rap. The URL is cutting up. They just announced three battles on this card, and all three of them are fire. They're only missing one. They're only missing one. And that's easy to block Captain versus Goods. They got to put this on any given Sunday, too, bro. Y'all got to have that up there. If not, this card is not going to be complete without that battle. I'm trying to tell you. But the other battles, we go get into it. We go talk about them. You got Calico versus Chess, Fire. Danny Myers versus Av, Fire. And then you got the highly anticipated, long awaited Sue Surf versus Cortez, Fire. And this is any given Sunday, part two. You know what I'm saying? Any given Sunday, URL, any given Sunday. This should be Fire. This should be Fire. We can start off with Calico and Chess. And I think that was the first battle that was actually announced on this card. It's been a longer way to battle between Calico and Chess. You know, I feel like Calico had to make his little runs. He had to, uh, he had to battle surf. You know what I'm saying? He had to battle a couple of other niggas, get them out of the way real quick. Now he can battle the Chesses and the Easies and everybody in that caliber. You know what I'm saying? But Chess, the young god, has been, you know what I'm saying, putting in that pain. Him and Easy to block Captain Battle of the Year, arguably. You know what I'm saying? Like, they put in that pain. You know what I'm saying? Both of them niggas was out there wilding. So, that's a fire battle. Then you got Chess with Charlie Clips at Chris Brown's spot. That was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, Chess has been doing his numbers, bro. And everybody who Chess battles, it seems like they elevate for Chess. Because, like, they don't... They, I guess they feel like, man, I can't let this little nigga beat me. I can't get little nigga by a little nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But not saying Chess is a little nigga. But he's younger than them guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're kind of older than him. And Chess came in the game when he was a lot younger. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that's how they feel. You know what I'm saying? But Calico has been doing his numbers, bro. Cal, he does not come slacking no battles at all. Whether it be URL, whether it be RBE, wherever he's at, Cal is gonna bring them bring that pain. You know what I'm saying? He gonna come with that Detroit flow. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? He gonna come in there and he gonna do his numbers. I feel like Cal. Has been elevating his last couple of battles. You know what I'm saying? Because like it's like Cal was fire. And then like toward the middle of his career, he kind of like slowed down a little bit. I don't know what was going on. He probably had a lot of shit going on in real life. And then now towards, I'm not saying the end of his career, but now to now in his career, it's like he's actually picking that steam back up and actually starting to uh get back in that old bag, that old Cal bag. How niggas used to, you know what I'm saying, be going crazy, you know what I'm saying, to his metaphors. It's, it's a difference between metaphors and real rap, you know what I'm saying, landslides. So, you know what I'm saying, that cow that battled uh, Tay Rock, you know what I'm saying, that was fire, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like Calico is actually getting back into his bag and he's getting back into doing numbers and shit like that. And he's listening to what the fans got to say. And he's actually going back to the old cow. And that's that was the fire cow, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is going to be a fire match, but Chess is just... Chess punchlines be crazy. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that nigga punchlines be crazy. So you got to look at what Chess actually brings to the game. He's going to come with some shit that nobody ha has ever said to you before. And you got to be expecting that because that's what Chess brings to the game. He brings, you know what I'm saying, authenticity. You know what I'm saying? Things that people don't say, that's what Chess brings. You know what I'm saying? But if I had to choose in this battle, if I had to choose... I'm going with Chess because I feel like Chess is a little more hungrier, bro. I feel like Chess is a little more hungrier right now, and he's going to have that material that Cal is just not going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, stand up, stand up against. It's going to be a close one, but I'm edging Chess 2-1 in this battle. Then you got Danny Myers versus Av. You know what I'm saying? Punching, push-ups. You know what I'm saying? Danny Myers going to be out there doing push-ups, so... We go get a good battle between these guys because this is gonna be a bar fest. This is gonna be a bar fest. I'm surprised these niggas ain't these niggas haven't already battled. This is gonna be a bar fest. Danny Myers is gonna come in there punching against Av and Av is gonna come in there with that fast flow. Nigga, you I mop the flow, mop and glow, stop the show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, that's it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Which Av has been putting on his performances, but Av. I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with your what's wrong with your material, Av. And it's not necessarily your material. It's more so your energy. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll come in there and you'll be 
like when you battle head ice, you was way across the room until you got comfortable. Then you t- tucked your jewels in, and then you went to battling. That's the ad that niggas want to see. You know what I'm saying? It's about like the third round work with DNA versus King Lowe's. He took that criticism in all three rounds versus Hollow to Don. He came and was going crazy all three rounds. So I feel like the second round versus Head Ice, that's the ad niggas want to see for all three rounds. And if you bring all three, three of those rounds like that with that energy in the battle, it's going to be crazy. And you've got a good chance of beating Danny Myers. But Danny Myers is one of these niggas who just love battle rap, bro. And he's not going to let nobody go in there and out punch him because he thinks he's the bar guy. He's a puncher too. You know what I'm saying? He's a puncher too. Danny Myers can go in there and punch with the best of them. Let's not get that fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Danny Myers is a beast. He just went in there and arguably beat Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? I don't got him winning that battle, but a lot of niggas do. You know what I'm saying? So Danny Myers is a beast, bro. So don't count, ever count that man out. You know what I'm saying? His, his only stumble he kind of had last year, Hiccup, was versus the Real Sick. Other than that, I got him winning a lot of his battles last year. If he would have beat Real Sick, he would have been in the runners for the champion of the year. Let's just keep it a buck. Him and Geechee would have been right there, but Geechee battled Lux. So that kind of put Geechee, you know what I'm saying, over the, you know, pause over the top of a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying? So it, it would have been, been a close race, you know what I'm saying? It would have been a close race anyway, you know what I'm saying? So Danny Myers has been doing his numbers, bro. And I got Danny Myers actually coming out with a win in this battle because I feel like Ab is angry. He's not going to have the energy. If Ab come in there with the energy, and the hunger, he's going to win this battle. But if not, Ab is going to move his battle. I got Danny Myers winning this battle 2-1. You know what I'm saying? 2-1, Danny Myers. Now we're going to get into the Sue Surf. Tsunami Surf. Sue Pop Shakur. We're going to get into the, the, the Tsunami Files. Versus Cortez. You know what I'm saying? Bodega. You know what I'm saying? This is Cortez. We're going to start with you, Cortez. You cannot afford to lose a round. And you said that to Surf. You told Surf that. I'm telling you that. You cannot afford to lose a round. You need to go in there and 3 0 Surf. That's what you need to do. You need to 30 Surf. And I know it can be done. I know it can be done. A lot of niggas saying it can't be done because of the new Surf that we got these last three battles that he's on his bully and he's on his game. But he's not. I'm going to tell you why you can 30 Surf because he's not going to take you serious. Because you've been chasing him for 10 years. He felt like he can come in there with two rounds like Rum Nitty. And he can beat you. But if you have three well-crafted rounds that's put together, run them across your niggas. Run them across me. I'm telling you, you can go in there and you can 30 surf. It can be done, bro, because he's not going to take you that serious. He's like, Cortez, oh, yeah, that's Bodega. He, he He's going to stumble. He's not going to be fired. But if you come in there and talk to this man like you were talking in that Hitman battle, you have a chance to win. If you go in there and do your numbers like you're supposed to do, Cortez, you can 30 this man. You can 30 this man. Do I think it can be done? Yes. But do, do you have to be flawless? Yes. It has to be a flawless victory like Mortal Kombat. When you go in there and them niggas try to get a hit and they don't get a hit off of you. That's how it has to be versus surf. A flawless victory. It can't be no, well, I'm debating this. No, you have to 30 this man. You know what I'm saying? And it can be done because you're hungry for the battle. The hunger for the battle can make you 30 this man. You know what I'm saying? It can be done. But on the other hand, you got Sue Surf. That man is in his bag, and he's talking real crazy. This nigga's talking real greasy. Big T, fingers after lunch. This nigga's talking greasy. Like, seriously. Like, this nigga is talking, I'm going to get 50. You're not even going to get 20. You've been chasing me for 10 years. You're not going to win the battle. I like. I can beat you 2-1. Even if I lose a round, I give you a round. I still win 2-1. He's talking greasy. Big T-fingers. Big T-fingers. This man is talking greasy, bro. And I'm just going to keep it a buck. I don't know what tsunami served me sipping on or whatever the case may be or smoking on. But when this nigga get in the ring with that white tea, he don't lose, bro. He don't lose, bro. That man going there, he do his numbers. He do not lose. He go in there and he put up numbers. He, You want to make some money tonight? He told Smack, yo, you want to make some money tonight? Look, bro, he, he go in there, he handles business. He handles business. He handles business. And that's what it's about, bro. When you go in there with a crowd, that's his element. But when you take him and put him in a caffeine setting and there's 20 people in the room and it's a like an old garage, like Cassidy Battle Disaster, he's going to lose. But when you got ticket sales... And he can pause and think about his material and chill. Shut up. Shut up. He can do all that. Like, 
it's it's over. Like that man controls the room like no other battle rapper has in the late two thousands. Let's just keep it a buck. The last five years, who controlled the room like some surf? Who? Who? Even in losses, who controlled the room like some surf? I don't know anybody. Maybe New Jersey twerk on the low, but I still got surf like controlling the room better than anybody in battle rap. This man can walk on stage and control and totally control the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like and a lot of niggas can't do that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas in battle rap just go up there and they do the material. They perform. They do that little one-two, but he can control a room. Chill. Shut up. Make noise. Be quiet. Repeat it. Subtitles. This man can control a room like that. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, if I had to choose in this battle, if I had to choose, this is a hard one to choose because Bodega's going to be hungry. I got to go with Surf, bro. I gotta go with Surf. 2 1. He gonna give you a round. He gonna give you a round. 2 1 Surf. But anyway, man, it's the homie hood legend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in Battle Rap. Any given Sunday, URL. Till next time, we out, y'all.